Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our first lesson on a given Form 3 topic called SADS. So when it comes to SADS, there are a few things that you need to remember. The first one is uh, the property that involves difference of two squares, which states that if you have A then plus uh, B, then you are multiplying with uh, A minus B. This one should always give you uh, A squared then minus uh, b squared. So these are property that you learned in form 2. The other thing you need to note is that when you have um, 1 uh, divided by the root of a, then the conjugate of this particular number will simply be uh, its denominator. So the conjugate will be uh, the root of a, then you also multiply with the conjugate on the uh, numerator in order to uh, rationalize the denominator. So this is going to give you 1 times root a, you are going to get uh, the root of a, then divided by uh, the root of, uh, so this one is the same as saying the root uh, into bracket a multiplied by a. So this is a uh, multiplied by a, which is the same as saying uh, the root of a, then divided by the root of a multiplied by a, you are going to get a squared. Of course, a uh, square and the square root will cancel out so that uh, the rationalized denominator will be the root of a then divided by uh, a then if you also have another number for example uh, one uh, then divided by uh, the root of a then uh, plus maybe the root of b then you are told to rationalize the denominator in this case the conjugate will be uh, if it is um, addition uh, the conjugate will be minus uh, so the conjugate uh, will simply be the root of uh, a then minus the root of b. So it's only the sign that is changing. If it is a plus, it becomes a minus and vice versa. Then you also multiply uh, the numerator with the conjugate, which is the root of a then minus uh, the root of b. So this one will give us 1 times root a, you'll simply get the root of a then minus 1 times root b, you'll still get uh, the root of b then divided by for the denominator, I simply use this particular property. I simply take the minus 1, then I square a, then minus a b squared. So similar here, uh, the one that is having a minus is this one. So this is the same as saying the root of a squared, then uh, minus the root of uh, b squared. Remember, I'm simply using uh, this property of difference of two squares. So this will be equal to the root of uh, a, then minus the root of b, then uh, divided by, so of course the square root and the square will cancel out, a uh, square root and square will also cancel out. So we remain with a minus b. Therefore, we have rationalized the denominator because there are no assads uh, or uh, roots on the denominator. Then the other case scenario that you can get is if you have 1, then divided by uh, the root of a, then minus the root of b. Now for this case, the conjugate will be the addition. So if it is minus, then the uh, conjugate becomes addition and vice versa. So the conjugate will be uh, the root of uh, a, then plus uh, the root of b. So plus because here we had minus. Uh, Remember for this case we had plus, the conjugate becomes minus. Then you also multiply uh, the numerator with the conjugate, which is the root of a, then plus uh, the root of b. So this is going to give us uh, 1 times root a, I'm going to get the root of a, then plus 1 times root b, I'll get the root of b. Then divided by, remember on the denominator, this one is still a difference of uh, two squares because uh, a times b multiplied by a minus b is just the same as saying uh, a minus b then multiplied by uh, a plus b. It's simply the same thing. Because if you take 2 times uh, 4 and you also take 4 times uh, 2, the answers will be the same. This is 8, this is also 8. So it's the same thing for uh, this case here. Therefore, our solution will simply check the one that has a minus. So of course it is uh, this one. So this will be uh, the root of uh, a squared, then uh, minus the root of uh, b squared. So this one is going to give us the root of a, then plus the root of b, then divided by, of course, the square root and the square will cancel out, uh, square root and square will cancel out, so divided by a 
uh, minus b. So these are the possible uh, cases when you are finding uh, the conjugator or when you are rationalizing the denominator. Then we can look at a practical example. So let's check our example one, which reads that simplify uh, into bracket a plus the root of three, then a minus root three, hence evaluate one over a one plus the root of three, correct to three significant give figures, uh, given that the root of uh, three is equals to 1.73. To one. Therefore, what we are going to do is simply to uh, simplify the first part, which is uh, 1, then plus the root of uh, 3, then of course we are multiplying with uh, 1, then minus the root of 3. So because we are given the value of the root of 3, we are simply going to substitute. So this will be equal to, uh, into bracket, 1 plus the root of 3, I'm, I'm given the root of 3 as uh, one point so this is one point uh, seven three two uh, one then I'm going to multiply with uh, one minus the root of three so this will be one minus the root of three I'm given as one point seven uh, three two one so this one will be equal to so one plus one point uh, seven three two one I'm going to get a uh, two uh, point seven uh, three two one then I'd multiply with, uh, if I take 1 minus uh, 1.7321, uh, uh, I'm going to get negative. So this will be negative uh, 0 0.7321. Uh, uh, then if I multiply this to uh, 2.7321 times, um, so let me multiply uh, 2.7321 uh, multiplied by negative 0 0.7321, I'm going to get uh, negative 2 so this is negative 2 uh, point zero, zero, uh, zero. then we have uh, 17041 uh, so if I take this correct to uh, four significant figures it will be negative 2 uh, point zero, zero, uh, zero. of course which can as well be written as simply the negative of 2 so that is the simplified part of um, 1 plus root 3 into 1 minus root 3. Then we are told hence uh, evaluate a 1 over 1 plus root 3 correct to 4 to 3 significant figures. So the given part simply needs to be rationalized. Uh, we need to rationalize the denominator. So uh, 1 uh, divided by uh, 1 plus the root of uh, 3. This one will simply be uh, equal to. We can actually rationalize the denominator because we are already given uh, the value of this. So the conjugate, because it is uh, addition, uh, it means the conjugate will be plus. Uh, so the conjugate will be a uh, 1 uh, minus, because this is plus, so the conjugate will be minus. Uh, 1 over uh, 1 minus uh, the root of 3. Then we also multiply the conjugate on the uh, numerator, which is 1 minus uh, the root of 3. So this will be equal to, uh, of course, this will just be 1 times 1, you'll get 1, then uh, minus 1 times 1 root 3, uh, you'll simply get uh, negative uh, the root of 3, then uh, divided by, uh, on the denominator, we are simply going to have uh, 1 plus root 3, then uh, into bracket 1 minus the root of uh, 3 which will be equal to uh, 1 minus the value of root 3. We are given as um, 1.7321. Uh, 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 then divided by the denominator is uh, actually this particular value here, which has given us a negative 2. So this will be uh, divided by negative 2.00. So this will give me, if I take 1 point, um, uh, that is 1 uh, minus 1.7. Uh, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to get negative 7, so this is a uh, negative 0 point, uh, 7, uh, 3, 2, 1, then divided by negative 2, so this one should give me, so answer divided by negative 2, I'm going to get a uh, positive uh, 0 point, uh, 3, 6, 6, 0, 5, but I was told to give my answer correct to three significant figures, Remember, a zero to the left is not significant. Therefore, this is our first significant figure, second and third. So the answer will be 0 
six. So this one is correct to three significant figures. Then we look at our um, second example, which reads that if uh, root 14 divided by root seven minus uh, root two minus root 14 divided by root seven plus root two is equals to a plus root seven plus b root two, find the values of a and b, where a and b are rational uh, numbers. Therefore, in order for us to solve this, we'll start by solving the first part of this particular uh, question here. So we'll start by solving, uh, rationalizing uh, this part here. So this will be uh, the root of 14, root 14, then divided by uh, the root of 7, then minus the root of 2. So of course the conjugate will be uh, addition uh, because we have minus in between. So the conjugate will be the root of 7 uh, plus uh, the root of 2. So plus because here we had addition. Then we multiply uh, the same conjugate on the uh, numerator which will be root 7 then plus the root of uh, 2. So uh, this is going to give me, so on the numerator I'm going to have the following. So root 14 times root 7, this is the same as saying uh, the root of uh, 14 then multiplied by 7 then uh, plus root 14 times root 2 is the same as saying the root of uh, 14 multiplied by 2 then uh, divided by this are difference of two squares therefore I'll simply take uh, the root of uh, 7 squared 7 squared then minus the root of 2 squared so this will be uh, equal to so 14 times 7 uh, 14 multiplied by 7 I'm going to get 98 so this is the root of uh, 98 then uh, plus 14 times 2 I'll get 28 uh, so plus the root of uh, 28 then uh, divided by so this one will be uh, the square root and the square will cancel out so that I remain with 7 minus uh, the square root and the square will cancel out so minus 2 so this one will give me uh, the root of uh, 98 so this is root 98 plus the root of 28 then uh, divided by uh, 7 minus 2 I'm going to get a positive 5 so divided by uh, 5 so uh, this is our first part then we are going to move to our second part so that we can also uh, work it out so in our second part of the question uh, we also need to deal with uh, this one here so you want to solve uh, this part uh, this part here I need to rationalize it so it is the root of uh, 14 then uh, divided by uh, the root of 7 then plus the root of 2 so the conjugate of course will be the minus because it is addition so the conjugate uh, for this case will be uh, the root of 7 the root of 7 then minus the root of 2 I multiply also the numerator with the conjugate the root of 7 minus root 2 so this one will give me uh, this one will be at uh, the numerator I'll get the root of 14 uh, multiplied by 7 uh, then uh, minus 14 times 2 so this will be the root of uh, 14 multiplied by 2 then divided by this are difference of two squares so I'll use this part of minus so this will be root 7 uh, root 7 uh, squared then I subtract uh, the root of uh, 2 squared so minus the root of 2 squared so this will be uh, the root of 14 uh, multiplied by 7 I'll still get positive 98 then uh, minus 14 by 2 I'll get of course 28 uh, then divided by uh, the square root and the square will cancel out square root and the square will cancel out so I'm going to remain with a 7 minus 2, which will still give me uh, the root of 98, then uh, minus the root of 28, then divided by 5. But remember, the question was, um, uh, we, were, we were to take the first part, then we subtract the second part. So from the question, uh, it was about minus, so it was this part, uh, this part here, then we subtract the second part. So this part minus this part here so the first part I've gotten the answer as the root of 
uh, 98 then uh, plus the root of 28 plus the root of 28 then the whole thing uh, divided by 5 then it was minus so minus the second part I've gotten the answer as the root of 98 so root 98 minus the root 28 then divided by 5 so at this point we can find our LCM of course the LCM will be 5 then 5 goes into 5 one time so one times this I'll still get the same number so this will be 1 uh, 5 into 5 1 so this will be 1 into uh, the root of 98 so the root of 98 let me write it on the lower side here that's where I have a lot of space so this one will be uh, the LCM is 5 so 5 into 5 1 so this will be 1 into uh, root 98 the root of 98 plus root 28 then 5 into 5 are uh, 1 so this will be uh, then 1 times negative I'll get negative 1 into uh, the root of 98 then minus the root of 28 so this one will give me of course it will be root 98 uh, then 1 times uh, root 28 I'll get uh, root 28 then 1 times uh, negative 1 times root 98 I'll get negative uh, the root of 98 then negative 1 times negative I'll get a positive uh, root 28 then the whole thing is uh, divided by 5 of course this one and this will give you 0 so we are going to remain with uh, root 28 the root of 28 plus the root of 28 then divided by 5 so remember this one means the coefficient is 1 the coefficient is also 1 since these are like terms you simply add directly so 1 plus 1 you'll get 2 so this will be 2 the root of 28 then divided by uh, 5 then we can also check if 28 has uh, we can let's look at the factors of 28 whether we have one that has a perfect square root so let me check the roots of uh, 28 here so by 2 uh, this will be 14 then by 2 I'm going to have 7 then by 7 I'm going to have 1 so we can actually get 4 from here so this is 4 times 7 so 28 can be rewritten as uh, the root of so remember it is 2 uh, the two roots are 4 multiplied by 7 which can be rewritten as uh, we have 2 then the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 7 which can be written as uh, 2 the square root of 4 is actually positive 2 then we have the root of uh, 7 so this can be written as 2 times 2 I'll get 4 uh, the root of 7 so this will be 4 root 7 but remember the whole thing was uh, divided by 5 uh? so this one should also be uh, divided by 5 so we were told to leave our answer in the form in the form of uh, a so we were told to leave our answer in this particular uh, format here so we were told to leave it in this form so a plus root 7 then plus b at uh, the root of 2 but from our final answer I cannot see the root of 2 therefore it means that uh, my final part my final part I'm going to uh, get this so in my final part uh, this is what I'm going to have so I'm going to rearrange it so that I get uh, I've started they want the format of a uh, root 7 then plus b uh, the root of 2 so this one will be I'll write it as 4 divided by 5 root 7 so since I don't have the value of b it simply means that the value of b is 0 so it is 0 the root of 2 because 0 times the root of 2 you are the whole term is going to disappear that is why we remained with uh, this term having the root of 7 alone without the root of b so if you compare with a uh, root 7 then plus b the root of 2 clearly you can see that uh, the value uh, hence find the values of a and b so clearly the value of a will be 4 over 5 so a will be equal to uh, 4 over 5 then the value of b clearly will be 0 so our b will be equal to 0 so we'll be looking at further examples on the same uh, thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get